We will now go deeper into this investigation of sparse matrices and the MDCT. So let's remember that the MDCT analysis impulse responses are given by this equation to be here. And that the filter length here is limited to 2 times capital N, meaning that uh, small n goes from 0 to 2 times capital N minus 1. And since the MDCT has a very similar modulation function as the DCT4, we just have this uh, time shift of N capital N divided by 2 in it. We suspect that we can also factor it into a sparse matrix and the DCT transform matrix like here. Here, there's some uh, sparse matrix F A of Z. If this assumption is true, we can obtain the sparse matrix by bringing the transform matrix from the above form, uh, formula to the other side of the equation. And we will have that the sparse matrix is given by the H MDCT Z times T to the power of minus 1. We can simply start with uh, construct, constructing the complete polyphase matrix H MDCT using equations 1 and 2 that we've seen before. So here we have equation 1, here we have equation 2, and then if we plug in to this equation 2b, we can compute f a of z as follows, resulting in this equation 3. This is for the simple case of a filter length of just 2 times capital N, which is the length of a MDCT. For odd numbers of subbands n, we will get one value or one polynomial in the top and bottom row centers in the left and right most columns. Observe that we now have all the lays on the left side of the matrix, uh, which allows us to factor them out. So we just see the delays on the left um, side and side of the matrix, and there are no delays here.